Welcome to the Boxing Evolution TV News, bringing you all the latest news in boxing from around the world. Amir Khan says his performance against Louis Colazzo on May the 3rd will steal the show on the Floyd Mayweather Marcus Maidana card at the MGM Ground in Las Vegas, Nevada. Khan expects to steal the thunder from the headline fight between Mayweather and Maidana by really shining against the 32 year old Colazzo. Former WBA welterweight champion Louis Colazzo says that Amir Khan will be making a mistake if he overlooks him in their fight on May the 3rd on the Mayweather Maidana undercard. Khan seems to be taking the fight very seriously though, and with what's at stake, a big money cash out fight against Floyd Mayweather Jr., you can't blame Khan. After a six year dry spell, former WBO cruiserweight champion Enzo Macronelli will finally get another crack at a world title against WBA light heavyweight champion Jurgen Bremer on April the 5th in Germany. Macronelli, 33, has been relegated to the Euro level for the past six years since losing his WBA cruiserweight title to David Hay by a second round TKO in 2008. Macronelli has looked pretty bad in knockout losses to Ola Afalobi, Denis Lebedev, Alexander Frankel and Oval McKenzie, but after all those defeats, Macronelli has clawed his way into a title shot against Bremer on April the 5th, and this is his big chance to win a belt, albeit against a fighter who many boxing fans see as a paper champion. If Macronelli gets knocked out in this fight by Bremer, then Macronelli might as well retire because he's unlikely he's going to be able to beat talents like Kovlev and Stevenson. Former super middleweight Jamie Hurd made an outstanding return to the world of professional boxing last Saturday when in what was supposed to be his return to the cruiserweight division, a last minute opponent change for a match against heavyweight boxer Larry Olabamawal. Not wanting to let his fans down, Jamie agreed to the fight. In what many thought was going to be a one-sided event, Hearn stopped the 6 foot 4 18 stone Alabama well within the first half of the first round. After landing a brain shaking punch to the jaw which caused Alabama well to drop to the canvas, the referee then deemed him unfit to continue. Interestingly enough, Hearn is now number 13 in the UK heavyweight ranking despite being a cruiserweight contender. Nevertheless, he is definitely one to keep an eye on in the upcoming months. IBF, IBO, WBA and WBO heavyweight champion Vladimir Klitschko is very wary of the huge power of his opponent Alex Lipa and he's vowing not to underestimate him in their fight on April the 26th at the Koenig Pilsner Arena, Oberhausen, Nordrhein Westlaffen, Germany. Lipe pulled off an upset in defeating Dennis Boistov by a 10 round unanimous decision back in November in their WBC title eliminator bout in Germany. Boistov was expected to win the fight handily but he found himself getting dropped by Lipe and dominated. In a certain way, I can compare him to Rocky. He's an underdog, Vladimir said to Fight News. He made a statement that he saw in my eyes that he's going to knock me out in the first three rounds. He's so physically strong and he doesn't need technique or strategy. If Vladimir doesn't think that the six foot Lipe doesn't have technique or strategy, then he could be in for a tough time on April the 26th, because everything that Lipe does in the ring has strategy and technique. The referee that worked Klitschko's last fight against Alexander Popkin last year let Vladimir hold all night long. All it will take for Vladimir to be at risk of losing the fight to Lee Pei is if there's a referee that doesn't let him hold and who doesn't let him lean on the back of his opponent's neck. If Vladimir has to fight Lee Pei instead of hold, we could see an upset on April the 26th.